Here we go again. Oh, I saw that. Oh, 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 no, no! I saw it. It was right there. Yo, 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 what is going on ladies and gents, it's your boy here, I'm O, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing the future of this channel, and also what to expect as well. So, let's just pretty much jump straight into what I want to discuss, and as you could see at the start of the video, if you guys don't know what that game is, it's called Standoff 2. So, that's the first thing I want to talk about. So, I've put a community poll out on the internet, on Twitter and YouTube, and a lot of you guys do want to see some Standoff 2 gameplay. So, I've been streaming this game now for the last, like, two days, and I can honestly say it's the first time I've actually enjoyed streaming for as long as I have while playing the same game continuously. So... Standoff 2 is definitely going to be the, the go-to game that I'll be posting. As I see, there's a lot of YouTubers out there, but they are all Russian. There are not many British or English-speaking YouTubers out there for the game. So I think it'd be nice to gain our own community within this game. But I see a lot of you guys asking me to play Call of Duty Mobile. So this is one topic I want to talk about and kind of briefly go over. Because... My opinion on that is I don't want to make content on Call of Duty Mobile. The reason being is I started on Call of Duty Mobile. I played this game so much. I've spent a lot of time and money in this game. And I really burnt myself out on Call of Duty Mobile. And like I'm not going to take anything away from the game. The game is very good on the mobile community. I know that there's a lot of players on it, a lot of content creators, but that also is another reason why I don't want to make content for the game because you guys have got a handful of YouTubers out there like Ferg, Bobby, Godsley, Noah, um, and so on. These guys are always posting Call of Duty Mobile content, so I don't really want to be, you know, jumping on that bus as of yet because I don't want to bore you guys with the same content. I know it's going to be different content, but it's going to be briefly the same, you know, um, it's briefly the same kind of gameplays as we are really good at the game. And also, you know, like, like they all do, they do like leaks and stuff like that. And it's pretty much, I don't want to repeat the videos that these guys have already been doing and are currently doing. So I'm going to leave Call of Duty Mobile alone. But also down to that fact is, like I was mentioning, I don't enjoy that game anymore. So since every F2 has closed down, it's been an absolute struggle to find a game that I've actually enjoyed. So there's a few games out there that I have downloaded and I've tried, uh, you know, on and off my live streams. And a lot of you guys have given me a lot of props on Standoff 2. I've adapted to the game pretty quickly. I'm, you know, destroying on that game at the moment. I'm not going to say I'm the best at the game because I'm nowhere near. There's a lot of stuff I need to learn. Smoke spots, flashbangs, grenade spots, you know, different head glitches and so on. Basically, what I'm trying to say is because this game's been out for quite a while, there's more to learn than if the game was brand new. So there's a lot of tactics and, you know spots that i don't know about which all the you know the ogs of the game use so there's a lot for me to learn but today's video is pretty much like i mentioned i'm just going to discuss what the future is of my channel and also at the end of this uh this pretty much me talking over the microphone and into the webcam i'm going to show you some crate openings as well so you saw that at the start of the video so it was actually pretty awesome it was my first ever crate opening and i actually enjoyed opening the crates and my chat was going wild over it <laughs> but guys i kind of just want to go over one more thing as well and that is the topic of area f2 so i'm going to go over this really quickly and briefly because I've, i have done a massive video on this already so my opinion is I don't know and I don't think the game is going to be released again. I think this this is going to be the end of Area F2. Unfortunately, it is where I've boot, you know, boot, <laughs> built my community is in the Area F2 community. Unfortunately, you know, uh, it, it was too good to be true if, if that's what I can pretty much describe it as. But I've got 18.4 thousand subscribers, which is insane. That's 18,400 people that have subscribed to me to watch me. But majority of you have you know, subscribed for Area F2. But guys, there is a new game coming out. 
it's actually out on Android at the moment. I'm not going to let you know what the game is called, but it, I am in contact with one of the developers and this game will be coming out to iOS. So this game, which I'm describing right now, is is similar to Rainbow Six Siege and similar to Area F2, but it has its own twists, which I feel like will be a good thing because the game won't be shut down because of this. Area F2 kind of, in my opinion, got shut down because of Rainbow Six Siege. So this is very exciting news. So expect some of that gameplay in the future. But when it comes to my YouTube page, I'm going to be, you know, creating content on Standoff 2. I might create some videos as well alongside those on Critical Ops. So I'm going to have like a little mix of the two games. But at the minute, Standoff 2 is my main game right now. I'm enjoying it, like I said. And I've, you know, I've, put some, I've, I've pumped quite a few hours into the game, if I should say. But I'm going to stop talking now, guys. I'm going to let you guys watch the crate openings. Don't forget, though, uh, you know, to drop a like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of this decision of mine in the comment section down below. Try not to be too mean. I've seen a lot of, you know, mean comments and negative comments in the past, I don't know, like two or three videos of mine. But you guys got to realize I'm trying to adapt to the situation just as much as you guys are adapting to my content. I know I am an Area F2 player. Well, I was, and you guys were here for Area F2, but guys, it's gone and there's nothing we can do about it. So please don't take your anger out, out on me or on the content I'm creating. I'm trying to be consistent and I'm trying to give you guys, you know, some inter entertaining videos and footage to watch through these dark times in the world. So, you know, <laughs> what I'm trying to ask is cut me a little bit of slack. And also on, on that note, a massive thank you to every single one of you guys that have still supported me and are encouraging me to carry on because I was this close yesterday to having, well, I had a breakdown pretty much on live stream and this was before I started playing standoff too. I had a little breakdown just thinking, you know what, I might just stop live streaming. I might just stop YouTube and just, you know, just, just leave it all there. But if it wasn't for the guys that was in my live stream, basically telling me to just keep going keep grinding my videos are good even though they're not area f2 you know that encourages me so you guys most of you guys are here for me and you guys are here for the content well the content creator not just the content so i highly respect that guys much love to every single one of you that have supported me in the comment section and in my live streams and sent me tweets and personal messages so huge thank you guys massive massive thank you but don't forget i've also got that giveaway going on at the moment for rainbow six siege on steam so if you guys still want to get your hands on that then there will be a link in the description to be able to enter it's going to take you to a gleam site which allows you to enter multiple times by doing different um you know tasks so like following me on twitter following my instagram and so on and so on so go check that out guys but i'm gonna stop blabbering on and waffling so enjoy the crate opening and i will see you in tomorrow's video and tomorrow's live stream take care right then ladies and gents here we go first one opening it up let's get it i'm probably not gonna get anything in these crates but go on usb usb you okay all right fine I, I guess i'll take it second crate here we go now, what would you guys do if I got the knife in my first pack opening? Would you guys be really mad? That's quite a nice skin. I like that. Uh, actually, let's inspect that. That's really nice. I do like that. That's a really nice skin. Right, here we go again. Third pack. Third time lucky, maybe, with a, with a nice skin. Oh, there we go. MP7. That'll do. That'll do just fine. I'll take that purple off your hands. That's really nice. I like that. I'll take that. Come on. Another purple. Desert Eagle. I need a skin for Desert Eagle. I'll take that. Thank you. That's also a nice looking skin. Let me take a look at that again. That's actually a really nice skin. I like that. Can you zoom in on it? No. Oh, it's even got clutch in the middle. Can you see that? It says clutch. And it says ace. Ah, oh, man. I, I kind of wished I had this gun last game. It would have suited my ace that I got. Here we go again. Oh, I saw that. Oh, 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 no, no! I saw it. It was right there. It was like a millimeter away. Why would the game bait me like this? The game just baited me so hard. Ah. Ah. 
If I if I had that in the first time me opening crates, <laughs> that would have been so funny. Right, let's open up another case. Here we go. Voila! Well, that butterfly knife is not gonna come, is it? A USB skin though. I know it's a. I know it's not one of the best ones, but I do need a USB skin. So, uh, equip that TR as well. Right. Okay. So next case. Here we go. Come on, give me the gold one. Give me this one, okay? <laughs> it's not gonna give me this one, but I'll, I'll literally, I'll crease if I got like a knife or some crap. It's, it's not gonna happen. Right, is that the second USB I've got of the exact same thing? Can, what does crafting mean? Oh, oh, it's like a trade up. Oh, it's, it's pretty much like CSGO then, okay. Furious case, here we go. Karambit first try. Well, I need an M4 skin, so. Oh, it's stat track as well. Wait a minute. Where, where, where was that? M4 Pro. Oh, so I got the stat track version of it. That's pretty awesome, man. Yo, chat, what do you think of that? What do you guys think of that? That looks pretty dope. All right, we got two more. We got two more packs on the go. Here we go. Open up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'll take that AK. I'll take that all day long. So we've pretty much got all the skins on the guns that we, we tend to use. So. Right, last case. Voila. Okay, never mind. Guys. We got some pretty nice uh, skins right there, man. For the first ever time, uh, you know, opening packs on this game. Like, that's pretty awesome.